Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. So this is my uh, music beer collection. So let's get on with it. So first of all, actually, before I show you anything, um, I just want to point out I did have all the Iron Maiden beers and I can I, I sold them. Uh, I kind of wish I uh, kept some of them because um, there was quite a few of them that were extremely limited edition. Um, just yeah, um, I kind of, I kind of, in a way, I wish I drank them as well. But um, no, I didn't drink them. I didn't. There was quite a few of them that I didn't drink because they were like they were that limited edition. Um, I can't. Like I said, I wish I got. I wish I kept them. But I was saving up for a wedding, up for my wedding, and um, that went tits up again. And, <laughs> um, the same as you know, it's getting rid of the beers as well. So um, yeah, unfortunately, I got rid of them. Um, but yeah, Motorhead Road Crew. Um, obviously, from the title, we are the Road Crew. Uh, this is American Pale Ale by Camerons. Um, I think they're in uh, the Northeast. Yeah, Hartlepool. They're a Hartlepool based brewery. Um, obviously, if you've seen, you've, you know, if you've seen the. Uh, bottles and stuff in the shops because they still I think they're still selling them so but yeah I'll show you the the glass the glass looks really nice so normally I buy quite a few of these different ones um just to try and use one of the glasses as well to keep one of the glasses but for some reason I never do this one um, but I'll show you the because I'm, I'm that kind so I've got quite a lot of them um, on my motorhead but my battle vest so that so basically obviously I kept the took them off kept them and glued them on my battle vest my motor, for my motorhead tribute um, but yeah honestly really quite smart move because quite a few people's doing that with the, with them now and um, the Iron Maiden ones so kind of started a trend in a way with, with uh, battle vests <laughs> so yeah made me go uh, weird ideas but yeah what head uh, we are the road screw just drop that on the floor but hold on we'll pick it up in a bit so yeah what head road crew then this is a collab with um Signature Brew and The Darkness. So Bell's End. Obviously it's a Christmas. As you can tell it's obviously a, a seasonal bitter. So obviously a seasonal drink. Um, hope, I really hope that they actually release these near Christmas because they were really, really nice beers. So um, a little bit about Signature Brew. The, um, obviously they collaborate a lot with bands um to obviously release beer because they've got like um amps related um festival related you know it's all music like and they're also in the i think at the brewery they've got also at the side of the brewery i could be wrong but it could be all caught incorporated and um, they have like a, a, a venue to that they have the, the the bands on but yeah um this what this they didn't have Justin Hawkins doing it. They had Dan, so his brother Dan Hawkins, and I think Frankie, the beat the bassist. Uh, I think they haven't two done the had the thing with this. So yeah, again, this one is a, a London-based brewery. So yeah, signature with the darkness. Next, uh, I'll show you this one. So there is this Queen. So Bohemian Lager. Um, this was, I think, it was the second release that they've done uh, with Queen, uh, obviously beer, Queen, uh, Queen beer related. Um, I'll show you the verse after. Uh, so I've, I've, I'm not gonna. Lie, I've never tried it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of lagers, and um, yeah, uh, just I got it because obviously huge fan of uh, fan of Queen. You know, massive love music lover. So, but yeah. I kept the so this one I've got this one, and then I also had the I've got the tin. This was released a 
long, long time after. Uh, so I managed to get this one first and then this one come out. So wasn't uh, to even have that in the collection of my music beers. So like I said, I've got rid of the, the glass. Um, that's what the glass looks like in the beer. So it's pointless trying to take them out. Make the, vi the video even longer. But yeah, um, like I said, I took the glass out of the, the cardboard and then I've kept the, everything original in the, in the metal tin. And then this is the very first released. Um, I think this was uh, 2015 this was released. Um, I just remember seeing, uh, there was obviously an article on the, one of the Queen groups that I'm in. And they were saying, oh yeah, get the um, Queen vodka. And I was like, ooh, no, I don't drink it, obviously. As you can tell, it's still, it's still got the uh, vodka in. Um, but yeah, um, when, I, when like I said when I first heard it, I was like, oh, I'm not going to get one. Because they were only in selected uh, Asdas. So, certain, like they're all in certain Asda around the country. Um, well, around the UK and that. Um, not sure if it's anywhere else, but yeah, they do have this Queen message on here. Um, you're supposed to do it with a marker and you know, something pops up, but yeah, I've, I've not done it. Uh, I kind of wish I got another one to do it, but um, most people were showing all the stuff on, on there anyway, and I can't remember what the hell it was, but I just thought, oh, fair enough. Um, <laughs> it didn't really interest me for that, I, just, I was interested more for the it was Queen. So yeah, honestly it's a really nice bottle. And then obviously at the back there it's got the Queen logo again. But yeah, uh, this is obviously called the uh, Killer Queen and it's honestly absolutely a certain way you look at it. So I'm not sure yeah. You can't see properly but yeah. Um it has it obviously says Killer Queen and then the picture from uh, Queen from the Killer Queen and then obviously Queen all the way around in blue. With a black background honestly really nice bottom bottom next is status quo's first uh beer release which was with uh which witchwood brewery really really tasty beer um so it's obviously classic english ale uh 4.3 percent honestly really really nice um kind of wish that they, they still do it now but yeah, unfortunately they don't, so that was a bit of a bummer. So, yeah, pile driver, that was really nice. Um, there was This only come like this, um, so you just buy the bottle, I think it was. Started off at £1.25 a bottle, which I think by like looking back, it was like, it was, it was like, it's a bit much. And then I think the, like, after the, the, the novelty thing wore off, the prices come like the prices went up a bit. I think it was two pound. It was two twenty five or something then. Uh, after that, I can't remember now. Or two or one. Oh, I can't even remember now. But yeah, it was it, the price shot up. I remember because I bought them because I bought it quite cheap. I bought a few of them. And then next is Dog of Two Head. Again, this is um, ill. Uh, so this is the core premium ill. Uh, four point two percent, so just one percent down from the last one. But this is from Hobson's Brewery. Uh, do you know? I don't even know where that is. Shropshire. So, and then there is also a third um, status quo one, but it was only sold in certain um, spas uh, around the UK. Again, I think again, this was limited edition. Um, but never, never ever come across it. But yeah, I got that now because I would love to have tried. There was a cider as well. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, it was a cider. And I, I wish I got, well, you know, I wish I could order them online, but I don't think you can. But yeah, so status quo uh, comes with that glass as well which is really nice um then obviously take note of the, the what i've just shown you then and again 
here's the other one where the logo is just it's starting like, that bit stands out more that's a lot smaller it's, that's a lot smaller as well <laughs> I, I don't understand because they were released in two different times again the same as the queen and they're both different again but yeah I'm not complaining uh, i've got managed to get them both so buzzing there are there is also another one that they've released but it was, was all from morrison's um apart from the vodka um but yeah morrison's did the, like these little sets and stuff obviously they had iron maiden ones which they've stopped doing this i don't know i don't know if they're doing any more the iron maiden ones anymore um but it was only certain morrison's that had them in anyway um well, around here anyway um but they had madness and I think there was two other bands that they did they did a collaborate you know they, they did them with as well but I remember madness being one of them and I can't remember the other one because but obviously I never got them because I just thought now they're not interesting me to be fair uh but yeah that is it for my uh beer collection hopefully you've enjoyed it. if you did thumbs up all that good YouTube stuff like again um I regret uh, getting rid of the Iron Maiden ones, um, sold them for something that never happened. <laughs> but yeah, um, honestly, really good. But it is what it is, isn't it? So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up all that good YouTube stuff, and I shall see you again with another video. Cheerio.